Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. Today, I'll be going over how to add alerts to your stream using OBS and stream elements. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. Okay, the first thing that we're going to need to do is to log into stream elements. Okay, once you're all logged into stream elements using your Twitch, we're going to go down here to themes and galleries. From here, it'll be pretty simple. If you're looking for a theme, you'd look click in the themes. Uh, today, I'm just going to go over alerts. So we're just going to click on the alerts. And we're going to scroll down to royal red. This is one of my favorite ones. I like royal blue, royal red. I find they look very clean, very nice. And this is going to be an easy way to add the alerts to your stream. All we have to do is click on create. This is going to come up and say create new overlay or copy to exist and we're just going to create a new overlay. This is for if you don't have any overlays yet. So if you have an overlay already built, you can just copy this one here to one that you already have. In this example, we're going to say you're starting from nothing and this is going to be your first alert. So we're just going to click new alerts. Now we're going to name this one here. I'm going to name this one here test one for this example so I can delete it later and make sure I, I don't delete mine. Okay, now this is the part. You want to make sure that you copy all of this, copy to clipboard, because you need that there to add it to OBS. Okay, we're going to click on the C themes in my overlays. And it's going to come up with the one that we made, test one. And this is the one that I'm actually using. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit. From here, you'll be able to emulate a follower event. And there you go, you'll see it come up here. And there'll be a copy link overlay URL right here. From this point, you want to click save, make sure it's saved. And we're going to open up OBS. In OBS live, we're going to go down here to the plus symbol and click it. And we're going to add a browser content. It's, we're just going to call this one here, uh, test alerts, just so that we can remove the correct one afterwards. Now this is going to say a size. We're going to put in the 1920 by 1080. If you don't put in the size correctly, that's actually here. So this takes up, this is a full screen overlay. So this is the only piece of the 1920 by 1080 that's used. So if you put in a small size, it will cut it in half and you'll only see half of the alert. So you have to make sure that you make it full size. You can resize it in OBS. Okay, let's get back to OBS. Another thing that you can do that I suggest is to control the audio via OBS. So if it's too loud or if you find like you get a lot of them all at one time, you'll be able to just click it and change it. All right, in the URL, we're, we're going to control V and paste the stream elements overlay for the alerts. Then we're just going to hit the OK button. All right, to test this, we're going to go back to our web browser. We're going to click emulate follower event and then we're going to click on OBS as fast as we can. All right, there it is. It says the followers right there. Perfect. So we see that our alerts is working. If you test this with your stream open, it will show this here on your stream as well. So if you're streaming and you click your test, this here is going to show up on stream. So make sure that you keep that in mind. And for this example, all of these here alerts that you find on the stream elements and the overlays are absolutely free to use. So for this example, I didn't use custom overlays. I just used one of the included ones. I find that quite a bit easier and this will get you going really fast until you get your own alerts made. Once you have it added to OBS, make sure that it always stays on top or you might not see it. If you put it all the way underneath the display capture, the display captures over top of it. When you click the event, it may not show through it. So when we click it, see, we'll hear the sound, but we won't see it. So you have to make sure that you always keep the browser source alerts over top of everything so that it always comes up and shows over top of everything. If it's underneath your camera layer, when it comes up, if your camera's in the way, it will not show the alert. It will show your camera. So like I was saying, make sure that the browser source for the alerts always stays at the top. It's the best spot for it. Um, that's everything there is to it that will get you set up with if you're just starting with OBS it'll get you set up with your first alerts on stream that's very easy just copy paste the link from stream elements once you have your once you pick out the overlay and the 
alerts that you're looking for, all you have to do is copy the source, paste it in the browser source here, and that's everything there is to it. Next stream you go live, when you get a follow, you'll hear that sound and you'll get that alert. And here's the sound here. Uh, I forgot to, I'll click event. So we heard how loud that is, then you can adjust it. So if you're getting spammed with a lot of alerts, I want to make sure I added that. That will make it a lot less loud. So that's another thing that you can do. Um, if you have a problem with the alerts being too loud or too quiet, here's a place where you can add some gain. If you add a filter on it here, you can add some gain or you can turn it down if it's too loud. So if you're getting spammed with alerts, that's another good way to just stop the noise from coming through to you. I think there's a way to make it so that only your viewers uh, get the sound, but I'm not quite sure how that's done. I'll leave that for another time. But that's everything there is to it. If you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.